tough economic times mean a lot of people are giving up their pets and Valley Animal Shelters are constantly full. One Las Vegas councilwoman says with such a need, why not create a new shelter for the city of Las Vegas? We've had dogs, animals running in the street. There was no animal control at one point that would even go out and pick up animals. Every year, around 12,000 animals alone from the city of Las Vegas end up at the Animal Foundation. But last fall, when intake was temporarily halted and the number of strays on the streets surged, Councilwoman Victoria Seaman posed the question, just like the city of Henderson, could and should the city of Las Vegas have its own animal shelter? Being a world-class city, we need to make sure that we are taking care of our animals. The benefits could be oversight. The benefits could be we have control. In a staff report to city council for the city's size, a shelter would require at least 200 dog kennels. The Animal Foundation has 535. Staff looked at a potential three acre site just down the street from the Animal Foundation. A shelter could cost 35 million to build and 6 million a year to operate. The councilwoman says a city owned facility could have better oversight to prevent a crisis like what we saw last fall. A disease outbreak halted the Animal Foundation's intake for weeks, and as animal control stopped picking up most strays, many pets were found roaming the streets. Seaman spearheaded the city's unanimously approved audit of the Animal Foundation to track how the city's money is spent. To say the investment is warranted, we, I feel I, I need the data. And most importantly, where the dollars are going to come from, are we going to give up certain dollars? From Mayor Carolyn Goodman to Councilwoman Olivia Diaz, there's concerns over spending more city money rather than working with the Animal Foundation on solutions. Through 2025, the city must give $3 million a year to the Animal Foundation. Through 2027, give $660,000 a year for a construction bond. Two, three years out to get it done and provide more space, but it's an unlimited number of animals we will continue to deal with. Let's not make it political. Let's do the right thing by our constituents and our animals. Seaman says staff will research other city animal shelters that are the same size and bring more data to council. As for the Animal Foundation audit, the city is finalizing contracts, then the audit itself will take a little more than a year.